Hello, Anyone? Twitch, everybody. Yeah. I am currently on Discord with Killfeed. We are working on a song. Um, yeah. Hi, everyone. He says hi, if you can't hear him. Um, oh. I'm going to grind some materials and then light them on fire and then put them in my body real quick. Um, so let's keep, you can keep, we can, I'll stay on Discord until I finish that process real fast. Um, and then I'm going to actually jump and do this Twitch stream. But All right. feel free to play the thing that we're working on. All right. I can hear it. Yeah. Well, it's, this is still pretty whip. I don't know if you guys can hear this. Also, my MacBook is no longer connected to my sound card, so they'll be hearing it like from MacBook speakers into a microphone over Twitch. <laughs> that's horrible. That's, that's horrible. That's maybe the worst possible way you could potentially show anyone a song. Wait, I'm gonna go on Twitch real quick. Okay. And check this shit out. Uh, Cyclops Army TV. Cyclops Army TV. Hello, everybody. Today we are doing production. If you were just joining us, I'll crush you. We are sponsored by G Fuel. Very nice. G Fuel gamers uh, only. <laughs> I was gonna add this up here too. Let me do that real quick. If you're down to export just like a eight bar loopy boy, I can just like toss an intro on it. Right. Consider it playable, but then I'll work on it more as well. Or if you keep working on it and come up with anything, because I think we still need that like interesting idea that makes it stand out, you know? Like yeah. It's like a solid quarter note song right now, but we want to make it memorable. Yeah. I mean, obviously that's the hardest fucking part, and it's easier said than done. I really like the flow a lot, though. I yeah. I think it's super sick. Very choppy. Yeah. It's the way I like it. I think I need to hear. I I need to hear it. Uh, well, I've been hearing it on my monitors, but uh, I want to hear it like on my end for my monitors, maybe, or maybe just to like uh, A B it. I'll add this sub real quick on the chords, and then I'll send it to. You. Okay. If everyone is wondering, uh, this is a song with Killfeed. Cause not to obnoxiously gas him up while being on Discord with him, but he's one of my favorite producers right now. Love you. <laughs> That's so much better. Really? That's tight. like a large amount of better. That's a large qual a quantity of better it is. <laughs> I could, in theory, log into Discord on my PC um, and still show your screen over Twitch, but that would probably be really shitty. That's my I guess. That. I mean, we could try, but then also it's FL, and I'm like, I don't know really much. I'd, I, I couldn't really explain to anyone in the chat what is happening because FL. Well, I, even I can't explain music, so... Yeah. <laughs> Like, I know what I'm doing, but I just, I really just can't explain music. Well, I say all the time that for me, oh, turned off the wrong thing. Um, it's so much, tr it's, for me, it's really just trial and error. Like, I I'm sure everyone would love to be able to just sit down and write down a banger instantly, but it really is I like. Goes, I wonder what goes through, like, companies or, like, virtual rights head when they produce. They're like, oh, I know all of this, and I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do that, and I'm just like, what am I going to do next? You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's try this and do that. Oh, that sounds cool. Let's fuck do that. You know what I mean? And that's how uh, I make music, I guess. I feel it. <coughs> <coughs> Alright. Just rub weed every day. Alright, okay, there look. we go. Gotta slide chain this. <coughs> you gotta smack that F11. Huh? You gotta smack F11. I lost a picture of you. Oh, fuck. Um, so for everyone like, well, wondering saying we want to go over intros um oh big up someone cheering bits the first thing we kind of really want to do ever with a dubstep song you don't have to do this and i even didn't start, start doing this till recently but it'll help you visualize where you want to put things um see this grid up here even when djing because we were talking about potentially doing dj lessons as well the idea of breaking songs down into 16 bar segments and approaching them every 16 bars is like a separate thing is going to be really helpful um, 
So if you kind of do the first 16 bars, you set a locator, you go like, that's the intro right there, right? Um, and then let's say you want your drop to be generally, I mean, you know, it's not always right here, but oftentimes the drop will be at 33 bars or 32 bars. Um, so normally you'll have like some sort of intro in this range, kind of like your verse thing right here. You'll have your build get intense here, and then your drop will happen here. Your switch will happen here. And then from here, you can either do a mid drop build, or you can do like another switch and then another switch. Really depends on the drop length. I've actually never done that, like section my tunes. It helps. But I mean, yeah. just, just for sake of like explaining, like especially with intros normally like I'll have like the most stripped back basic thing starting here and then this is where I'll catch some sort of like intro groove thing like if I have intro drums they'll go in kind of this part this is the kind of the part where either it'll break down and then this is the part where it'll build up so actually yeah let's rename this break I'm gonna listen with the sub real quick it's probably gonna be so cool Oh my god, it's so much better, dude. You Is should. it really better? Oh, yeah, you should send it. Yeah. Oh my god, like, cause like, like the normal sub of the drop is like lower. It make it gives like like it gives this like, like the right. It's so cool. Oh, I kind of hear that, yeah. But uh, wait. Oh my god, Sony is texting me. The multitask right now is like through the roof. Um, big ups, Clutch Jungle for subscribing for two months. Fuck yeah. Um, also, for everyone wondering who subscribed, um, that really subscribed for the live sets, like if that's what you're really interested in here, I'm going to be doing more of them. Um, and I think that in time, I'm going to be pretty regular with them. Um, I'm just taking a current kind of pause with it. Um, because I did a lot really fast and I want to be able to save up a bunch of new music, you know, and have something exciting to present you guys when I do them. Um, so right now I'm kind of in like really hardcore grind production mode. Um, but, uh, very soon. Oh, bing bong. Um, bing bong. very soon we will be, um, doing like more live sets, but honestly, yeah, someone in here just said, honestly, production streams over set streams and considering, a lot of the people in here, because there aren't as many people in here today, are probably the people that are more here for production, so I guess it doesn't really apply to this group of people. Um, but, uh, am I going to play a song that I like from Thursday in my sets? Yes. I got Killfeed on Discord. We're still kind of working on their song, our song a little bit. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, I'm just here because I like hanging out. That's cool. Do you just want to hang out? I'm going to move my camera over here because I'm always looking at the chat. Oh, how much better is that? Hey, that's Damn, better. Dude. Um, yeah, so basically, I mean, you don't have to do it in this order. I'm kind of just placing these down so you can kind of picture in your head what your main goal is going to be. Um, so basically, the way I lay it out is like you have your initial intro, which is where you'll kind of introduce... You know, whether it's a chord progression or a melody or a sample, this is where the initial song introduction will happen. Then you'll kind of catch your first... I already said this already, but I'm just repeating it for anyone who just got here. Um, headphone suggestion, I would recommend Audio-Technica uh, MTH, I think it is, M50s, um, the standards. They're great. Also, Bear Dynamic DT770s are fantastic as well. Um, but yeah. So this is normally where my intro drums will come in. So like I do a lot of int like a trappy intro for a lot of my dubstep songs. This is normally where that will take place. Then I'll do my breakdown, which is where you start to build it down from the energy that you like. You build up energy, sustain a, a about fifty percent energy, bring it back down in energy to like twenty five percent energy, 
and this build is where you're going to bring it up to 100% energy, and then drop is 100% energy, you know, if that kind of makes sense. Um, so this intro will be real trappy, and then build it down. Maybe no drums here, no like anything, or you know you can start build early if you want to. There are no rules. Build it up, and then you drop. So that's your basic intro. Um, oh, I am on a PC and not a MacBook. Command Shift T. Yes. So let's just make a fucking intro, right? Um, M50X ATH are the headphones I would recommend for sure. Um, I was mixing down a song actually last night with those instead of my monitors. And I'll play it for you guys. Did I even upload it on SoundCloud? The song I started? I don't think I uploaded the new version of it because I'm a dumb idiot. It was a wormhole. Eh, okay. Pew, pew. Uh, pew, pew. Do I ever use 808s or is it mostly hip hop sub bass? For intros, I kind of use 808s. Um, Barodynamic Bar TT770s are fucking great. If you have the high ohm version, I would really, really recommend a preamp a pre for your desktop. Um, yeah, so to start this intro, I don't see normally start with my drop, so this is kind of weird, but I guess we're just going to write out a four bar chord progression. Let's get a sense, so I'll probably pick Omnisphere. Check donation messages. Will do. Oh, do I use Sonarworks? If so, how do I use it? I'm actually not familiar with Sonarworks or what that is. Um, I can look up to it though. I mean, I could I could look into it. Yeah, I had the 250 ohm Barodynamics as well, and I, I used the desktop preamp. It made them better. Big up Clark for subscribing. Oh, that was two minutes ago. Big ups. Lauren Ash for gifting a subscription to Trishel. Anyway, we got Omnisphere open. We got our many things open. We want to write some just like chords that we can build this whole thing off of, right? So let's pick a note. Click this button right here to hear the mini notes. Hold down shift and press up to go between octaves. What key do we want this in? All right, chat. What what key is this song gonna be in? D E F G A E D. That's two I'm for D. It. Almighty D. That's three for D. Two for E. Two for F. All right, everyone's saying D. We're going with D. So I honestly just like kind of use my ears and just throw together fucking weird chords. Um, let's fucking send it. So you can also hold down control, click your MIDI note, drag it up. It'll duplicate it. Shift up to go up an octave, down without holding shift. And you have two of the same note spread across octaves. Um, yeah. I exported it. I sent you the link, bro. Very tight. Cool and sick. Um, let me open Discord on here real quick. Just to get super distracted really fast. I'm going to leave this chat for like a second and I'll be right back. Uh... Yeah. Okay, so... You guys can still hear me alright? Kill feed. Oh, um, you're going to want to reset that private link immediately. Oh, wait. Oh, this is just a fucking confusing mess. I'll crush you.
Yeah, that sounds tight. That I see. I absolutely see what you're saying with. Um, oh my god, you're that color. I absolutely see what you're saying with the sub layered underneath that. Uh, that sounds one layer right. is so tight. That sub sounds great. Um, yeah. What was happening on a different Discord? You were just loading like you can. That's weird. <laughs> Discord's bugged. I'm gonna stretch these out by holding, highlighting them all and doing this. I'm gonna go smoke real quick. Um, and the way I kind of write chords, uh, who's saying shake my head? Why are you saying shake my head? Oh, he's saying shake Jesse. my head, at Alec. What up? You gonna smoke? I'm gonna smoke real quick. Okay. Right um. Sonarworks takes the EQ of your headphones. Oh, I have heard about this, actually. Um, I have heard about that. Lee has told me about it. Um, I don't recommend using Opera. It's stupid. Um, yeah, I've had a few people tell me about Sonarworks and how it works and says that it's really, really cool and um, very neat. Chill. Chill. Testicles. All right. That's a cool chord. All right. We go through note by note and kind of change it. So. Sounds kind of awkward with some of the notes going down and some going up. Yeah. feeling that second chord I'm gonna start over trial and error trial and error trial and error don't have uh, fucking music theory experience. Uh, it's experimentation. I think, honestly, changing the fucking Omnisphere patch will lend help. Those are drums.
Omnisphere is one million percent worth it. Absolutely, hundred percent. I love Omnisphere. I could use the MIDI effect to just do a chord, and it would make it for me. Um, and that would probably be easier. I often forget it exists. That'll be like the root note. What I'm doing here, I did not really study music theory. I didn't go to school for any of it. Um, I probably should be more experienced with it. I probably should be more read up on it. But I mean, a lot of it, uh, I really just use my ears. Um, I guess it's kind of, I feel like a lot of people do that. And I feel like it's kind of proof that like, don't say you can't do something uh, just because you don't think you know how to do it. Like, you can just fucking try. And even if you're bad, you'll be bad for a while and you'll eventually get better at it. Um, so, I mean, I hear a lot of this stuff in my head and then I figure out a way to transcribe it into the notes. Um, but I don't actually know how to, like, read music. I, 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 know how to, I, I know how to read drum music. I played drums for, like, 12 years, so I can read music in that sense. But I don't actually know music theory, just, like, rhythm and stuff. So this is all trial and error using my ears. So this goes. I'm like trying to figure out relative pitch. Like if what, this is to this, as this is to this, then what is this? what's the last note you know what i mean like i'm trying to fill in the blank if that makes sense it's almost like sudoku in a way um you oh who's calling me what's happening my f like my Discord is ringing. Yeah. Who's calling me? How do I see it? Oh, no. Okay. I need to actually quit Discord and reopen it. Oh, never mind. We're still good. Okay, I'm saving this. I thought Ableton crashed for a second on my MacBook and I was afraid. We did just feed the puppy. Um, put the red D and D. Unison mini chord pack changed my life. Not a nad. Do I know John Casey? I I've never actually spoken to him, but one of my best friends is his best friend. They got boneless pig for subscribing. Um, why was my? I want to figure out why my Discord was ringing, but I also want to figure out, figure, finish building the score progression. 
So as I was saying, it's kind of like relative this to this, this to this. Dun 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 dun. Yep, that's right. Okay, so then. Dun 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 dun. That's right. I might try, I mean, maybe repeating this. Uh, if you hi I'm gonna actually do this. Um, make it twice as big, Command J, and then highlight all, Command A, and then hit this button. Because I didn't realize I was at 150 and it's really fast at 150. So, that feels like a better pace anyway. I'm going to repeat the, these top two notes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. We are missing one. make this maybe an eight bar progression so what's good did someone say hi G cuz hi a actually what up what's good bro I'm writing chords they're pretty And I, then from there, I kind of just like picture melodies in my head to go over top of it to add to the chords. So, like, <laughs> why can't I see you? What's happening? Oh, wait, hold on a sec. should check live enhancement suites it's a software and adds a cheat to Ableton the more you know uh, max for live is kind of like that the olives and cheese you said yeah where are you what like where are you in the world Belgium yeah it's all checks out <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a proper Belgian snack it's pretty good though I'll never I forget when um I the, the first tour I ever went on was with Ganja, and when I opened the fridge the first time I walked in there on the bus, they had only Stella, which is a Belgian beer, and he goes, oh yeah, it's like proper, proper 
any Belg any proper Belgium fridge will look like this. There's just one hundred percent Stella. That's a negative. Oh no. You wanna see the real Belgium beer? Yeah. I'll send you a picture. Because Ganja's okay. from Belgium too. What? Ganja's from Belgium? Ganja White Knight, yeah. Cool. This is the this is the real the real deal right here. Uh, you know what the you know what the funny part is? Jupe? Our so our soccer league is called the Jupiter League. So that's like if our if our if our football teams were like the Bud Lights. Yeah. That's amazing. It's, like, it's not a football team. It's like the Belgian league. It's like the like the the whole like. Like the the uh, like instead of the NFL, it would be the Heineken. <laughs> wow. The, he the Heineken league. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Idea rhythm, but upside down. Interesting. Um, okay. Pretty chords. The drums are the sense are drums. Let's add a counter melody to this mother fucker. Um, I have an idea. Let's highlight all of them, hit invert, and then put an arpeggiator on it. That was a horrible idea. Don't do that. Arpeggiator makes it go through the notes um, systematically, systematically, um, and it will do it based on parameters you said. I'll tell you what they are as soon as I move my dumb head out of the way because bam, there's the arpeggiator. It's down there. Behold, the arpeggiator. It's right there. Really funny. Not. Okay, so you can control the speed with the rate. You can unsync it. Why did I have to like that so much? I might keep that. I like that a lot with it going really fast. you have a stripped back version for like the first intro part of your song also octave changing is a big part of moving your intros forward at least in my cases so we have something like this but when you have the actual rest of the layers come in we bump it up an octave it'll dramatically change the feel unfortunateness thing factor bit part of it is that they're the same omnisphere patch so I'm gonna change them and then I'm gonna add a third that's an arpeggiator that's actually right um, and I kind of want to add an actual melody as well um, is this central for a cheer um it could be for our song if we really want it to be I'm just uh, I got on production and I was like what do you guys want to learn today and someone said uh, intros and then after that I'm gonna oh, talk yeah. about mix downs as well Cool. All right, so what are we on right now? What's happening? What's going on? We have this fast arpeggio, and we want this pad to not be the same pad. So, um, yeah. I'm just feeling goddamn. Bro, oh my it's fucking so Christ, it's good. It's so expensive. <laughs> Sounds like that. Um, I believe it's five or six hundred. Damn. It might be more expensive than contact. I'm not totally sure. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm in love with this already. It's fine. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. I am automating things, as y'all can see. Um, I automated the free rate down, so it does this. I thought I saw someone say clipping, but they were said digging. But I was so triggered, I like immediately was like, fuck you! <laughs> but not actually. Um, Stop clipping, you bitch. Stop clipping, bitch. Negative 10, bitch. Negative 10. And guess what? Also negative 10. I'm following the rules for this one, you guys. Um, if there's an echo that's bothering y'all, let me know. When cheese was invented, that was just, that was something else, man. Goddamn, so good. Fuck. You know you're preaching to the choir right now. Yeah. I'm like Miss. I'm like Mr. Cheese out here. Cheese is so good. I would. There He's was got... like a few month period where like at least every other show, someone would bring a big bag of mozzarella sticks. Listen, dude. In Belgium, if you ever come here. The food is so much better, I'm telling you. I've That's what I love from living in Canada. The food's horrible compared to this. It's so shit. It's depressing, pretty much. It's not horrible, but like, grocery store food is like, bleh. You know what I mean? I remember that, uh, Erwan and Ben, like, hated all the food in America. They were like, they kept on saying, like, the food in Belgium is so much better. <coughs> It's but like I, fresh, eat, I eat garbage and love it on a regular basis. Well, like, I like Chipotle and shit, too. But, like, like, like a fast food, I think it's amazing in, like, America. Like, pe like pizzas and, like, McDonald's or shit. Or right. But, like, like actual, like, food, like, that you make, it's so bad. I fucking hate it. They all got this cheddar cheese bullshit. Get some real cheese, bro. I like provolone. I yeah. moved around. Alright. What am I doing? not a guitar actually a guitar was a really dumb idea in the first place um wizard provolone on a cheesesteak both of them sub needs reverb good point um if bluetooth isn't cancer then neither is taco bell why say something so controversial yet so brave I'm looking for organs, cause organs so, and on the street. Something's provolone, dude. People don't know this, but organs go dumb hard. True. They really do. sure if I'm sold on this rate. Organs might not go dumb hard in this case, though. part where we need an actual lead melody to go with the fucking soup of sounds 
that we are mashing together that are kind of cool. <laughs> I struggle with finding synth leads in Omnisphere, and I shouldn't, because there's so many cool ones, but I think it's because there's this many fucking patches in here. Omnisphere takes up, like, so much space on your computer, it's ignorant. Hey chat, I'd rather be trying to degrade, decrease gain on tracks. Rather than trying to decrease gain on tra- Okay, what are you talking about, Alec? He is creating headroom in the mix down. Oh, did someone ask about me turning everything down 10? Um, yeah, instead of actually thinking about gain staging, um, and by gain staging I mean- Gain staging is like the process of getting all of your tracks or lanes um, to all of the uh, correct levels. Um, Instead of worrying about gain stating now, I'm just turning everything down 10 so I have extra headroom. Uh, learning how to mix first or production? Well, learning how to mix will turn will take you like a week. Learning production will take you 10 years. How does one develop their sound? Practice and years of pulling your hair out. Um, yep. True. True. <laughs> Silly putty, what is high key ignorant and buses what? What about buses? We're not there yet. Oh, what are buses? Okay, so I mean it's kind of a vague term and it's kind of DAW dependent, but a bus would be the Ableton equivalent would be like if I were to group all of these as like the intro music, um, and I wanted to send an effect to all of them, I would group them and put that effect. Like, let's say we put, like, a chorus, right? So this is the bus of effects that will go to all of these channels, right? You could call a group a bus. Um, there are also, like, NFL, there's buses where, like, you have, like, a... you. I, I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't even use FL. But, like, you have, like, a, a, in your bus, you put a bunch of effects or processing, whatever you want to do, and you could send whatever channels to that bus to be processed by those effects. Am I wrong, or is that right? I don't know, I don't know shit about buses, to be honest. Oh no. I never use it. All right. I use it <laughs> once to like make autotune. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm honestly like, yeah, like brutal, I'm not 1 million percent clear, but like I would say that like, for all intensive purposes, Groups are pretty much analogous with buses. I mean, like, yeah, it is more of a PC term almost because it's like something you like assign to everything else. So, like, what would almost make more sense would be like if I were to have like a group for my synths and then a group for my pads and then a group for my subs and then they're all grouped in one thing and that big all over group has a side chain on it, you could call that your side chain bus. That would be how I would describe it. Um, yeah. But, oh yeah, Logic. Bu buses are, there's a lot of busing in Logic. Um, but, I mean, another topic of confusion um, is returns and sends in Ableton. What a, how this works is instead of, like, if you want to put a, a return track, basically what it does is it duplicates the song with the signal on it so like instead of if you were to put a reverb on a regular track without a return like you just want to put that reverb on here it's going to wash it out right it's going to wash out the original sound and you're going to lose a lot of the transients you're going to lose a lot of the fucking you fucking you're going to lose a lot of the transients you're going to lose it's just going to wash the shit out um so you could just put that reverb on a return instead and send it to this so you won't lose those transients, it's just layering a 100% wet version of it right next to it. So like instead of sort of wetting it up, you can get a 100% version and layer it in next to it. 
instead. That's a return. I don't know if I explained that quite right. I'm a little bit stoned. Um, but, you know, Spock's in here and he says, rid him. A very common kind of rookie mistake I see, and not necessarily rookie mistake, but just like something that people don't realize that they can do that you can totally do when it comes to writing melodies. Um, a lot of people will be like, this note, then this note, then this note, and then back to this note. Um, you can repeat notes, actually. Like, it's okay. So if you want to do something more along the lines of like, dun, 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 dun and then like change this you know and then change that these are all examples i don't know what they actually sound like but like or do something that like repeats like that and then change those notes over time so like they kind of match up with the chords over up top um you don't have to be or you can do a combination of things so you can do like that plus this you know and then you could potentially even this is what dead mouse referred to as like a drone effect you can have these change over time you know but you keep the other thing the same now all of these notes are probably wrong i'm placing them randomly but the actual concept of like the way i'm working with them um hopefully will give you guys some ideas if you're super stuck like there's just different patterns you can do um now it will take a lot of trial and error with your ears, um, but yeah, what's the chat talking about? I went on a tangent. As someone with a big musical background but no production experience, I'm very interested, but I'm not sure it's worth it due to the high learning curve. Any thoughts, or, or is it oversaturated? Um, I'm assuming you're talking about jumping into learning production, um, and it's interesting you bring that up because a lot of people will uh, talk, come up to me and be like, yo, uh, I know how to play guitar and piano and all these instruments, so I think I'd be really fucking good at producing electronic music. Um, and that might be true, but in my own personal experience, uh, for myself, I, it didn't help me fuck all at all. Didn't come in. I think producing electronic music is far more like using Photoshop or programming than it is actually like making music, um, especially for dubstep or sound design oriented dubstep. Um, I mean, at least in my case, being a drummer and I've played guitar and piano like growing up, but they don't really help me at all. Um, yeah. Um, but it might be super fun and you will have an advantage for sure. I mean, like it will help you a little bit, like knowing music theory and knowing chord progressions and knowing things about notes. Um, but I mean, some of the people I know who learned the fastest out of anyone, like Uber Dubstep is a good example. Um, he had six or seven years experience with Photoshop before he ever opened a DAW. And his tunes within the first year of him producing were fucking fire, like really fucking good. And that's because he had already six or seven years experience of using a software to layer and process content you know what I mean whether it's visual content that you're processing and layering or audio content that you're processing and layering it's just incredibly intimidating I have a percussion and also a classical music background and a passion for electronic music um, is there a good resource for which progression of how to learn how to produce which to focus on um, Production is really overwhelming to get into off the top because there's kind of like four or five main categories of things you need to learn and they all interact with each other. So picking one category, it's hard to learn parts about it when so much of the terminology comes from the other places, you know, so you don't know where to jump first. Um, I would say there's the order in which you need to do things first. And I've said this before, there's learn there's two things you need to learn. There's learning how to use the DAW, but then there's also learning how to create 
good music and that can be broken down into a bunch more parts as well so I mean the first thing you need to learn how to do is to get the doll and learn how to use it and how to navigate what all the buttons do and all that shit then you need to learn like the concept of like song structure and framework you also need to learn sound design you need to learn mix downs that's the main stuff um mix downs you can that's probably something you can push towards the end the first thing you want to start wrapping your head around is navigating the DAW, figuring out how to use it, the DAW itself. Um, and then the next thing I would suggest learning is arrangement and sh song structure, um, placing samples, um, how to come up with patterns, um, how to place drums, um, you know, coming up with you know, just patterns and arrangement and, and flow and pacing. Then it's probably around time to learn sound design and then you learn mix downs. Or at least that was the order in which I learned, personally. Um, but give yourself at least three, four years um, for all of your music to be complete fucking garbage. For... Ah. All my music was trash for like the first five or six years. And I still write a bunch of trash today. So I'm like hearing in my head like a Uh where you at? 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 I'm doing what I said not to do. lends itself so easily to go an octave up. That was incredibly harsh and hurt my ears. It's fine. Let's turn this off. Um, to go. I've been playing Binding of Isaac and Enter the Gungeon a lot. Oh. But I also have a new puppy. Um, so I've been playing way less. You play Call of Duty? Um, I, I grew up on Call of Duty, but I kind of fell out of it a little bit. A little bit. Like, like, uh, like Modern Warfare 2, I definitely put at least 500 hours into it, for sure. Jesus Christ. Um, I played a lot of fucking Modern Warfare 2, and, like, Black Ops 2, um, and honestly, probably Halo 2, I played more than any other video game, and I'll, so much Fallout and Skyrim, it's, like, upsetting, and Skate, I think I've played more Skate 2 than, like, any other video game ever, um, Me too. but I really do love Binding of Isaac and Enter the Gungeon recently, um, so, I'm playing Modern Warfare, to be honest. Yeah, everyone's been playing Call of Duty, but, uh, there were, like, I, like, I tried it, I tried three in a row, like, when there were new Call of Duties that come out. Three in a row, and I hated all of them. I was like, fuck this well, game, I'm this over one's This one's different, man, I'm telling you, this one's actually pretty crazy. I don't know, everyone's saying this one is, like, the one that's fucking good. Yeah, it's fucking insane. Do I know the scales by heart? I don't know any scales. Um, Same. yeah. We make dubstep, bro. We don't know what the fuck we're doing. Um... I use my ears. Started when I was 18, I'm 23. You can pretty much start whenever. Yeah, I started when I was about 16, and I'm 27. 
Maybe I started when I was 15. I started like 10 years ago. Yeah. I was like I, 10 years old. But like there was also a so really big years. difference between when I started taking it seriously as well. Um, I started taking it seriously in like 2016. Yeah. I think because like I, I started producing with like Logic and I mean like if you really want to fucking go for it, fucking 11 or 10 or 11 when I got GarageBand, like when we would have like those tech days Dude, in school. So GarageBand there... But then I interned at a recording studio when I was like 13 or 14, and I was always asking how do rappers make music, like with computers. And I wanted to get an MPC, but I couldn't afford one, so I got Logic. So I was trying to make hip hop beats when I was like 14 or 15 with Logic, they were trash. And then when I discovered Dubstep, I was like, well, maybe I'll try making that instead. And I got Reason, um, and I was trying to recreate old, old Rusko songs with Reason, like pre Woo Boost Rusko type shit. Um, and reason, and I, that was like a lot of high school, um, probably until I was 17 and I ended up giving up. I was too hard. I, I straight up gave up like most people do. Um, after about the year mark, two year mark, you're like, this is too hard and my shit sucks and I'm not getting any better. So I fucking quit. Um, so I did. Um, and then I was sent to rehab, uh, and lived there for like a few months. And then they finally gave me my computer back, a laptop. And I had a few hundred dollars saved up from unemployment that I had been laid off from my work right before being sent to rehab. Um, and all of the fucking time in the world. So I was like, I have nothing else to do other than, I guess, keep trying to make music. And that was when I started taking it seriously. And that was when I started meeting people online. And that was when I downloaded, or that's when I made a SoundCloud account um, and started like promoting myself. And that was probably when I was like 18 or 19. And now I'm 27. But I've been producing. Damn, I think I've been like actually like non seriously producing for ten years and like seriously producing for maybe like nine years. I don't know. But at the okay. same time, like that went on for probably like four years at least. And when I dropped out of school and went full time and like was like, okay, now I need to pay my rent with music. Um there was a dramatic change like it went from like me working every day trying to get better to like this is my entire fucking entire life now um and if you want to eat you need to work so it was like wake up go to sleep all day every day working your absolute hardest for at least when when that started happening so like i went to rehab and started working really hard i was like i'm gonna take this seriously i'm gonna make a soundcloud account and work on it um and then it became my completely entire fucking life when i dropped out of school um and then that was when there was a noticeable traction. And then after about six months to a year of work like that, then there was like the first festival play. And then fast forward two years, I started getting shows. And then another two years, probably where we're at now. I don't know. Fucking sick, dude. Fucking <laughs> sick. Um, I, I had so many shows, but they all got canceled. <laughs> they all canceled. Yeah. Bro, we had, we had 14 left. Um, but we got through about 50, so I'm honestly grateful we made it through as many as we did. Um, yeah, that was one. But the, the second thing is, like, right when my career started, like, really taking off, you know? Right. Like, this summer I had, like, a lot of shows. Yeah. No, I fucking feel but it, bro. Yeah. But honestly, Stuff, huh? I think, um, quarantine, uh, puts producers, there, there's obviously different types of producers out there. But for producers like you who are um, the reason why there is hype behind your name is because your shit is really actually fucking really quality. Like there's a lot of people who like there's hype behind them for other reasons besides music where like yeah. your shit is like, oh, no, he sounds better than every other dubstep I've been hearing recently, like entirely. Um, and um, well, I think it's because producers that fit into that category are at a massive advantage during quarantine because you guys are the ones who can be flexing now. Like, there's a lot of DJs who rely on being put in front of crowds of people so they can play other people's songs. Normally, they're yours. Um, but now that they're not playing shows and you guys are both on the same platforms promoting what you're making yourselves, you, p producers like you, who are extremely talented, are at a big advantage. Um, and I think that goes for a lot of other producers as well. I'm talking to Killfeed, but, I mean... Producers like Akios, producers like Heritage. Um, there's a lot of people right now who are like, they put the grind in, they put the work in, they're really fucking good, and now it's kind of an even playing field to, agree, to, to, to some degree. Um, 
But I mean, financially, it fucking sucks balls without having shows for sure. Everyone's hurt. Everyone's kicked in the face. I'll probably have to look for another job again. Mm -hmm. It sucks. Um, promise myself I'll never work again. But I mean, I've been thinking about that a lot, about how like I've been seeing so many up and comers actually really take great advantage of quarantine and just be posting all these whips and be like, look, I'm a really good producer. <laughs> I don't really post them. I just post them on, like, my Instagram stories. Oh, same. I'm way too scared to, like, actually post whips. I just put them on my story, and if they, like, get a shitload of responses, like, I hope someone screen records it and posts it on Twitter, and that's, like, it. And, like, sometimes it does well. But I'm too scared to actually post whips. But it, that's what makes it so hard, is we don't have shows to test them out to see if they're fucking good or not yeah, anymore. Yeah, that was, like, my biggest motivation to make music. Yeah, was to fucking like, test them. One of them. my biggest, at least. I'm so sorry about how dist how severe my ADHD is, you guys. Um, going on rants to some degree. Hopefully, you guys. Um, oh yeah, say my name. Blue well, say my name's been huge forever. Um, but there's a lot of really talented people who are getting um, really big opportunities as a result of quarantine. I mean, the live streams have been. There's been some massive plays. There's been a bunch of people who you know, have a hard time getting in front of, uh, or not have a hard time, but, like, who aren't often put on the shows that have the huge crowds, you know what I mean, are all of a sudden live streaming in front of 50,000 people. That's a big move, you know? Um, kids, like, and really, really fucking talented people who, who deserve it. Fucking Saruta the other day was on Insomniac in front of, like, 50K people. You don't see that happen that often, man. Those kind of left-field shows, they're fun, but admittedly, when something is new... And it's the cutting edge. It's gonna have a, a slightly smaller audience. So to so to put someone that intelligent and forward thinking in front of yeah, company as well. Another great example. Um, really really talented forward thinking, cutting edge people, being put in front of crowds, um, that aren't even used to that and are gonna have their minds blown. Someone said, "When did you meet Kofi?" Remember. You've been to my house. It still says so man. Oh, it says so man on my whiteboard. <laughs> that so was my man. old apartment, yeah. You pulled who were you man. with? I forget. Was it you in like barracks? Uh Akira. Akira. He messaged me today actually. <laughs> like I was doing a fucking US tour. Oh, EPROM set. EPROM's another fantastic example. I watched that EPROM live stream the other day and was literally crying. It's so weird that, like, I make such, uh, like, abrasively ignorant quarter note music, but honestly, my favorite producers are, like, Eprom and G. Jones and Saruta. Like, r like, personally speaking, that's what I listen to. It's probably why I'm out here making stuff that sounds like this right now. So then for the breakdown, you, like, remove some stuff. Oh, yeah, Danny obviously is another one. But Danny's always been fucking super crazy good. People have been recognizing Danny. But he's a very good example of, like, someone who's, like, that much better than everyone else. You get fucking noticed quick. Tynan as well. G-Space. Look, I love Grady. His music is fucking incredible. But to the thing about G-Space is he's just, like, my favorite human alive. Like, I just, like, hanging out with him so much. But I love Grady's music, too. Space. Bro, I love Grady. And his music is really interesting and cool. Really good. Like, he's, he's doing, he's like, the thing that I have infinite respect for is people who do things that no one else does, and G-Space is definitely doing some stuff that you don't hear from, like, anyone else. Ablation also. First time I met Ablation, he was wearing hoodies. So anyway, the build is normally where you start to repeat stuff. Repeat stuff, repeat stuff, repeat stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then you just do fucking some sort of bullet. I mean, this is like if you want to go hella dumb, stupid, crazy, generic. But this is like the basic cookie cutter template in a way. And then you do. Drop. And then your drop goes right there. So that's kind of intros for you. I mean, well... There's so much more to it. Basically, like, 
you have your music and then you have your lead right intro music um and then normally you start adding in sweeps and stuff and such as well and drums so like No, bruv. I made a bunch of risers one day. Okay, so fun tip that I totally just went over without saying anything that I should have said something. Here's an interesting way that you can take sweeps from sample packs. Um, and instead of people being able to recognize that it's a sweep from a sample pack, even though I did make the sweep from scratch in Serum myself, um, one of the ways you can make sweeps unique, let's say you want to just go over to fucking uh, Splice. 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 Actually, no, not even Splice. You want to go to Cashmere, the most overused of the most overused. Why is it overused? Because it's really fucking good. Guilty. <laughs> we all are. I use it too. And this is something that I do myself. So you go. It's actually already in here. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, man. Did I lose it already? No, there it is. Um, you get yourself a sweep. I have to take a gram dab on Instagram Live pretty soon, actually. I'm nervous. Oh, no. Sonya just sent me a really gross text message. Um, Ellie pooped the pad, then immediately shoved her mouth in it, and I had to grab poop out of her mouth. What the fuck? Dude, that's disgusting. Um... That's super gross. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. I think she found crack. She's wilding. How to curve the nipping behavior. Okay, so anyway, you're over here looking. How do you go automatically know the same velocity? Um, sorry, guys. I am trying to read the chat as well. That butane soup, hold the fuck up. That butane soup, sir. I will have you know that this is hash rosin. All right. First off, um, yeah, I don't know what butane soup is. No, I do. I have some stuff that looks like this. Can't even see it. It's so clear. Oh, it just totally, it's gone. It literally just fell out of the container onto the carpet. It's gone forever. Great. I just lost a bunch of hash to my carpet. No. Damn it. Bro, I just dropped a bunch of hash on my carpet. That sucks. Um, all right, it's fine. Whatever. <gasps> But we're not doing it on Twitch because I don't want to s promote the weed smokage. Anywho, you get your sweep. Sweep ups. Uh, for the sake of this, I'll pick a short one. And then what you do, all you gotta do is you turn on warp. You hold down shift. You gotta hold down shift. And you drag it. Just drag. And then you can pick any of these. Christopher Walken. Right. And that will change how it sounds. It won't be the same anymore. Another tip for sweeps. Honestly, so instead of doing repitch for this boy, I'm probably going to do complex. And then click this button right here. Drag down here so you go back over to clip, transpose, and I like to do one of these numbers all the time. 
as you can now see, it's going to go and do a sweep. So that's what that sweep sounds like now, like this. As opposed to this. Very different. Um, but another little piece of advice I would give everybody when it comes to sweeps is it does kind of... I used to always fucking do this for every song. I, I did this for years because I didn't know any better. Um, I would do that for like every song. Um, and it sounds boring and lame. So what you should do instead um, is drop a reverb and just send a reverb throw. I heard this term the other day, reverb throw. Where you throw the reverb like this. You throw it out. So you can do a reverb throw like that. Or you can just leave reverb on in general. You don't have to use this kind of reverb either. You can do deco delay or echo or anything. That's not enough. So I think I'm going to do both. I'm going to do kind of a throw. But at the same time, like not, you know. We'll throw it right there. But I want a little bit more, so I'm going to do an echo throw. Echo throw. Echo throw. Put some reverb in there as well. You just lob that bitch, exactly. Lob that shit over. anyone caught what I just did but I duplicated it and I frequency shifted the other one so now that there's two layers of it damn man said Kobe yike um, does weed help you produce for sure it does help me um, so that continued to make it more interesting I'm going to group these little pieces of garbage right here sweeps you little shit fuck you anyway um, taking it outside of the group because it was inside of a group for some reason Turn them down because turning sweeps too loud is like the most common mistake ever. And there's not enough tail on that, so I'm going to throw another reverb. And honestly, I think I'm going to scratch this echo, but I'm going to leave the other one on. Now, you probably should have some sort of impact sound. Not the same thing, just reversed, but something to signify that a 16-bar period has passed. Sativa or Indica, it's a fucking myth. Um, so let's get some sort of, I guess, impact or sound. We, can, we can change that, though. Cool, so I'm going to be using this to give it a more interesting tail. This tonal delay effect. So I'm going to turn tonal delay all the way up. Or actually, no, I'm going to do something like this. And then I'm going to do something like this. No, I'm not. This 
it's being affected by the reverb in the group. I don't want it to be. It's got an awful lot of low end though. I'm gonna automate that. It gives us a little bit of echo. And honestly, for good measure, um, let's do the old bing bong. I duplicated it, pushed one to one side and one to the other side. That's going to make it wide. It's the same thing as a Hass effect. Actually, no, this would be the same thing as a Hass effect. I put one to one side, one to the other side, and off-sighted, offsetted them just ever so slightly with the delays over here, creating a widening effect. I think Subtronic should produce with Seth Rogen. Uh, we actually asked him for a watermark for volume five, and he said no. He actually said no. We we offered him money. We were like, we will pay you. Um, like he he personally said no. <laughs> no, his team did. Oh, we sucks. reached out to like literally fucking everyone for volume five watermarks. Like Jake at UTA was like, oh, I like we can like hit up every comedian. We got Shaq. You got Shaq. He actually did it. Yeah, you didn't hear him in there. I, I heard that. I heard yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's a legend. Someone's in my chat like CBD's a myth. Okay, bro. Bro, that's way too fucking harsh. And it's because of the delay. got way too ahead of myself here um, I'm gonna delete this half effect but uh I mean like no nah, I didn't really it's just that the way that this delay worked out um, I'm not crazy about it and now I have two of them so I gotta do it to both okay Well, we'll also be having drums to like kind of smoothen this thing out, so we can go ahead and add some.
See what I was saying? How you can like repeat notes sometimes and it's like totally okay. triple grid So this is not the thing I want to bring in here, it's this. I don't like any of these instruments though, to be honest. This is where this changes. I'm going to bring this whole thing down actually. Bro, make sound. What? Nothing. That is a cool patch, but it looks like it doesn't work.
are you? Yo. <laughs> Fucking play. Sorry. Bro! Good. Fuck yourself. Go away. Quit. I don't like you anyway. Bye. 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 Did you just lose, you just lose everything? Probably. <laughs> Sick. Let's see. I was I, I was not emotionally invested in that at all. Let's put that on record. Ableton really just pulled an FL Studio. See, here's the thing. When cr projects crash on you enough times, it like stings the first hundred few hundred times it happens, but you learn to cope pretty fast. <laughs> We can't undo any of that though. I just like fucked it all up out of frustration. Sick. Uh, the dreaded red arrow of death. Good thing we only have like six lanes going on. Found you. Kiltronics. Go the fuck away. I'm talking to Ableton, not you, by the way. Now maybe you'll do the thing that I ask you to. Okay. Yeah, why is my my CPU was being an absolute dick for a second? Set itself. That's fine, whatever. This has been a struggle session, bro. Alright. I gotta stop saying bro so much. It's kind of annoying. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Bro. Sound effect. Two. Don't seem upset, he have some spaghetti. I get frustrated with technology sometimes. And it's also like, it's a frustronics. Uh, it's a, it's tricky when you're working on 80 songs at once, starting a new one. Zed's dead DC, is that actually DC? Bro, are you really in here right now? Who's DC? From Zed's Dead? Oh. I really almost just fell over. I really did. I really oh my almost God. just... My, my chair really almost just fell over and I almost just died. It's fine. Um, Thanks, I'm strongly considering <laughs> avoiding... Uh, fucking... Well, let's see if In Memoriam sounds cool because that's like my favorite... My favorite Omnisphere boy.
so we lost the uh, arpeggiation fun time this going on sync on synced rate why are you so out of control my dude because of that fucking spaz out I had earlier <laughs> Bro, the dynamics of this one synth are so all over the place, it's ridiculous. EQing out the high end, I am EQing out the low end, I am OTTing to flatten the ridiculously intense range. Uh, is Dr. Fresh in here? We got DC from Zed's Dead popping by. We got Killfeed on Discord right now. Hello. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour now. I in memoriam is the best omnisphere patch. I kind of like that better in a uh, what is that in F sharp? Dubstep, bam, 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 you know. So there's an un unbelievably bass. I could have done this so much faster if I didn't have any really severe ADHD and computer problems and was better at things, but it's fine. percent in memoriam it's like my favorite omnisphere patch i use it in fucking everything so this is around the time oh shit someone is raiding with 28 people right now oh my god look at all those fire emojis hey sony hi how's the dog i'm going insane you're going insane i think i think she's on crack where is she right now? In the crate. Is she tired? Did she fall asleep? No. So you just put her in a crate? I needed to like leave that room for a second. Also, my computer died. Did you take my computer charger? No, I brought it back upstairs, actually. Yeah. We're getting raided right now. By who? I don't know. But they brought a bunch of people. They're all spamming emojis. Partissa? Partisha. Let's look this person up. Okay, so did you Google yeah. um, how to get them to bite less? That's what I do. Oh, it's Brain Rack. What up? 
and X dolls. Big, big, big lit. Anyway, so this is like super basic. Anyway, we were uh, talking about doing intros, so I, I, I just kind of pooped out an intro. Um, basic concept, built some chords, you know, general things. Um, if there's anything else you guys would like me to show you. Mixed down wise, this is like very simple. It was just your essential game staging using my ears. The main thing to keep in mind is not making your sweeps too loud. Thank you for subscribing. Shortness of breath, 420. Um, 420, dude. 420, bro. Um, Lit, man. Not making your sweeps too loud, grouping the right things. I mean, I really just use my ears. Mixing down intros is so different than mixing down drops and is so much harder and different. Um, so it's a very different approach like this I'm turning things down and trying to get them even with each other and so I can hear everything clearly um, probably the most important part of a mix down uh, is that you can hear everything individually if you want to single it out nothing is being pushed out by anything else everything is is playing with it together correctly um, do you think about how easy a song will be to mix in sets while making it no I mean a little bit, but not really. What do you mean turnarounds? Uh, glitches? I just do like a bunch of crazy automation on like a bunch of random stuff. Thoughts on high passing everything? I recommend it. What do you mean mixing it high quality? That doesn't make sense. I'm gonna put some drums down. That's better. All right. Let's see. What's a cool kick drum? None of those. Why did you my sample pack? I'm on my PC. This isn't my normal production computer. And I truly hate all of these kicks. Gil Chang. to low pass this kick because it is in the intro and you do not want your intro drums to be full force also it's got so much tail that I'm going to shorten it a little bit as well seems to have a theme of triplets going on so far so let's kind of Looking for a rim shot. How's the chat doing? Do I use Sooth 2? Yes, just not on this computer. Acoustic panels, what am I using? Um, fucking... They're from Guitar Center. I don't know, the basic ones. Where's the dog? Upstairs in her crate. Clap instead. I shouldn't be using cymatics. Actually, or I could be using cymatics. I say that because like everyone uses it. 
Um, but I mean, given that it's just the intro, it doesn't really matter as much. Am I ready for the dab off? No, not really. Thank you, Tone Bing Glongli, uh, for gifting a sub to of Marigold. Yeah, that's better. better on triplet grid. for the intro ghost note. This is how I do my ghost notes. Fucking tedious, bro. Oh my god, the uh, okay. chain this whole intro to all of these ghosts right here that I just gone and done did Thing you should be doing in your intros is filtering things and opening them up slowly over the course of each bar change so like for this intro I'm gonna low pass this for the majority of it and then bring it in right here like this 
like thusly. to make the first hit kind of a little bit easier on you. with one an octave down. What's the chat going? Make an 808, motherfuckers, motherfuckers. All right, we're gonna make a fucking 808, guys. And that's it. That's it. We're done. Yeah, that's like low key not terrible. <laughs> That's the boy. So it's like a... I'm gonna give up on trying to just play it. I'm just gonna fucking do it. I don't know if this is something that's gonna go right here, but it's a melody I thought of that I don't mind. No, bitch. That's not triplets. That's triplets. I said headphone, bro. Someone's like, this low-key slaps. You know what you do to this, though. This is what you do to this. You get an auto pan. Thank <laughs> you. 
why wouldn't we OTT this, right? Is that you? Don't? Okay. <laughs> with the song we're working on we could just mush them together what we could is, i wonder if this intro i'm making is in key with the thing we're working on we could just mush them together yeah sure i, I finish the stems <sighs> okay g fuel it... taste the gamer <laughs> gaming time g fuel gaming time I think of oh, one shit. more. Gotta zip this shit. Um, drive. Google Drive. Uh, I need one more slogan. <sighs> I've never had juice with my life. I don't know, I can't think of a slogan. G fuel. Feel the gamer. G fuel. Uh. Alexa, play G fuel. G fuel. Do a kickflip. <laughs> I'm gonna make. I'm gonna literally put like the most ignorant 808, which I was supposed to make last time I put serum in here, but now I'm gonna do it for real. G Fuel, whirlwind check. G Fuel, play Pattern Screamer. G Fuel, please play Pattern Screamer. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pick. I'm on a. I'm on a. Roll. I'm on a. Drop it. Okay. Uh, basic shapes. I'm gonna pick a triangle wave. I'm gonna low pass it. I'm gonna give it just a wee little wee bit tad of a pitch bendy bis business envelope stuff. Alt shift click your pitch bends. There's a lump in my diapies. Okay. There's a lump in my diapie. Someone said that in the chat. There will be a lump in your diapie if you don't let me fucking make some. Chill out, dude. Whoa, aggressive. First off. Dude. First off, that was a First lot. Off. First off. Alright. I've sent you the stems of my food. I'll set them on the fist back. Fistberg. Daddy's kissing. Uh, I'm looking for this. You think just a, just the hair of FMing will bring out some nice harmonics? Let's find out. Oh, I know why that's happening. It's because it's pitch bending. It's not pitch bending identically. They're both the exact. I sent, I sent you the stems, by the way. Okay, lit. Lit, dude. You know what be good right now? What's up? Onion rings. It's true. Um, I'm sorry. Is there? 
a reverb on this? No, there is not. That would have been concerning. Why is this resetting weird? This is more of a reset in 808, honestly. Although that is kind of neat how the FM does that. I don't like it, it for this. But what I will do is erode the fucking goddamn shit out of it. click we'll figure it out um, I'm gonna do like literally the lightest amount of amp ever <laughs> and I said be sub always put reverb on your subs put reverb on your sub don't do that <laughs> i was like what is this man secretly a genius <laughs> someone's like you did say bitch though you did like you said it for sure satisfied with this kick drum experience right now let's see how I can continue to improve it hold up oh that is cool artwork check this out Simon oh shit whoa Neck cool I like the I like the gory eyes I'll show Neck you cool. guys I'll show you guys soon um, but I can't show you, I can't, I can't, well, you yeah. know. Oh, I like the second one. Ooh, the second one. With that, that colorway, check it out. Simon. What changed? The background the color. Oh, it was, it was this. Oh, that, I like the other one more, I think. Yeah, that's way better. Kicks are in, they are in stereo. Look how fucked up that is. Um, the thing is, uh, I don't care. Uh, during the drop, um, I would, but this is the intro. Wind in your bass, everyone, it's crucial. Make sure that sub is as stereo as it goes. <laughs> Why does this actually sound wide though? Like real shit. I already have you mono or monizer on it. I mean, literally back there. That's the mono boy right there. Oh, that should be hitting different. Let's. Okay.
I need to just place this down and see if it can actually sound fucking right. Or I can just lead with it. I normally late drop my 808s. Bro, there's like three monos on this chain already. Fuck's sake. Grain delay on the master. Great idea. You know what? I'm all for experimentation. Grain delay on the master. With big spray. Is that low key like really interesting? <laughs> it's very interesting sounding. I mean, they're not sounds you hear much. Honestly, I think I'm gonna resample some of this stuff because it's pretty crazy sounding. It was the wrong pitch. This is definitely the dumbest thing I've ever done. Top five. It's gonna be so out of key. It would have been cool, but it like changes the pitch so much, so anyway. Fine, it was cool. I'm an idiot, I had random pitch on. G Fuel on the master? What? Now I'm soft clipping, okay. <laughs> Top 10 most cringe things I've ever said. <laughs> Not even though. This doesn't even cut the top 10. I get way worse than that, bro. master because literally literally fuck the police like hard fuck the police man. for sake of time y'all saw how I make my 808s but 
I couldn't get one to fit just right in this one. Um, so, you know, it's okay to use fucking samples sometimes, my dudes. And in the case of 808s, in my opinion... <gasps> I think I'm gonna go sleep. Alright. I'll see you later, see you, dude. Man. I got the stems. I'll let you know if I get anything neat. I might use this as an intro. Maybe. We'll see. Let's do it. I'll talk to you later. Sleep see well. You, Have fun being in Europe. <laughs> see you, man. I'll talk to you later. He was in Europe, so I'm like, see you later. Good, have fun being th in Europe. Where it's actually probably far superior to being here because um, we have like a trillion coronavirus people. And we're going to be able to go to dubstep shows in like 45 years from now, but like not even. So as you can see by my Ableton project file over here, I'm just kidding. I know I'm really big. I was doing that on purpose. I unsubscribed from him because he thought he was really funny, and he just wasn't, and it was really annoying. Like that one. And it's the very wrong note. Use your fucking ears. Nice. Um, here's what I'm going to do with this. Here's a fun little trick for everyone at home to do. I want this to follow this, but it's an audio, so I'm going to put it in sample. And then I'm going to tune this to follow it's so it's the right pitch but I rarely use sampler I normally use simpler so let's see if we can't all right I don't know if I can do it with this so I'm gonna do it with sampler I could probably do it with simpler I just don't know exactly where it's located and I'd rather do it with this uh, root. Cool, so that should follow that, but as you have probably noticed, it is at negative 12. Exactly what I wanted it to do and then it did it fantastic you love when a plan comes together but if you don't side chain your plan it won't matter at all Kenny Beats probably said never sidechain for your never sidechain your 808s for a super valid reason, um, and I don't know what that is. I personally haven't heard that before, but he definitely knows more about making hip hop than I do, so I would listen to him. But personally, uh, I'm sidechaining them. I might be wrong in doing so. I don't know. I'm. That's kind of the fun of art, um, is that you don't have to really follow any rules. But I like how that sounds personally when I sidechain them. That's just me. He might be saying don't sidechain him because you're going to get that obnoxious fucking click. But I mean, you can remedy that with the EQ, as you can see. But I mean, the re I mean that's one reason not to sidechain. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it will add a transient, but you can EQ out your transient. It's pretty easy to get rid of that. Um, 
Other than that, I'm not sure why he would say that. Do I late drop this? It would be pretty hard to because like you want to late drop it on the root note. You want it to go da 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 da. Um, and I mean, unless I did it really long. Well. to hit there. I'm definitely going to swap this snare. triplets bro I can't, I can't keep doing that I did that in my last song the triplet kick from Honestly, I did the whole fucking 808 late drop in my last song, so I'm just gonna fucking run right in into it. I'm just gonna send it off the bat. an intro I made it in two and hours and 15 minutes
Hmm. I'm honestly like a teensy bit unfamiliar. I thought that would affect the sound. I mean, I thought that would affect like the ASDR. I'm trying to fucking, let me see. Oh, probably this. Overdrive, where are you? I am blind. There we go. up this fucking horrible clap you're horrible you're horrible it's horrible terrible so I gotta fix it Something that makes the the uh, the uh, the uh, clap more interesting. Some interesting clap choices that can make this stand out and be a unique, interesting thing that contributes to the artistic entirety. Art community. I don't know the art community, bro. Super old sample pack from Loud Pack. That's actually a phenomenal sample pack, in my opinion. interesting this ourselves so I'm gonna do a flanger that actually is kind of tight we definitely need to turn it down and we definitely need to EQ it sorry if I'm not looking at the chat is loud pack really mostly candy beats because I th I talked to him very nice person and I really like his sample packs they're phenomenal if it's Kenny Beats the dude that said don't sidechain the 808s, because if he did say that, I would honestly listen to him. Unless he's saying don't sidechain it because you'll get a click, in which case I know how to fix that click. <laughs> this right here the kick needs to be exactly on top of that and it wasn't and it was causing a distress sound and by distressed I mean there were two transients because this has a little bit of its own transient right here deactivate My 
phone is just doing stuff at this point. Okay. Okay. I need to use the bathroom. Just watching Eliminate. I like I should do my own Twitch stuff while Twitch streaming, but I'm sitting on my phone watching the Eliminate thing. Come to come to Cyclops Army TV. We're incredibly unprofessional. Um and in a way it makes it real. Uh, this this is not a good snare layer, and it's because of the flanger. And I thought the flanger would make it cool, but it made it dumb. Which is the, the big theme. Hip hop is distortion is uncharacteristic to the sucking feeling rap. What? Hip hop is distortion. It's uncharacteristic to hear a sucking feeling rap. Better than fake. I'm confused by grammar. Big up Cancel Dubstep for subscribing. Um, envelope on amp of the sub. Whatever do you mean, sir? Let's see. We got an amp somewhere in this rack, I believe. There's actually no amp on this. There's an amp on this one. There's not. Where'd that fucking... I guess I'm not using an amp on anything at the moment. Thought I did. I didn't even know there was an envelope in amp, is there? I don't see one. Unless you mean like automate an envelope. Um, Omnisphere, honestly, if you can't afford it and it won't set you back too gnarly, I'd really recommend it. Um, uh, not to, I was asking someone. Yeah, okay, fair enough. A lot of times I read the chat not realizing it's people talking to each other and not to me. Um, so, big up cancel for subscribing. Um, I need to poop really fucking bad and I've been streaming for two and a half hours. How many people are in here right now because this is becoming an emergency very quickly? We have more people in here right now than we did like an hour ago, which is actually pretty fucking cool. Um, because 300 is a pretty good, you guys really want to wait for real? You guys don't mind waiting? I'll be quick. Um, I could just, would you, okay. I could put this on loop or I can just play my likes here. I'm going to go to my SoundCloud. And I'm just going to play my likes for you guys. Um, and during that time, I'm going to go poop. And I'll tell you guys if it's blue or not. Where's a cool song? All right. I'm going to be really fast, you guys. I love you, and I, I appreciate you guys being patient. But if I don't do this now, it would be a problem for sure. Um, if anyone's seen anything they really want to hear... Because I'm kind of, like, you guys obviously can't control this. Alright. This is a great string of songs, so I'm going to do this. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I'll be right back. Wish me luck.
Was not blue. Uh, let's see how many people left. Are there like even anyone still here? Oh my god, like no one left. Hell yeah, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, yeah, alright, let's keep this shit going. Thank you for being so patient. Um, while I sat on the toilet and scrolled through my phone, forgetting that I was on Twitch streaming and should probably hurry up. It happens. Alright, I'm gonna be like a reasonable, normal fucking person right now and take this grand delay and put it on this, this bus right here. 
Oh my god. Thank you for donating, sir. Um, he has a question as well. Should there always be low end and sub throughout the entire song to fill out the frequency spectrum, or is it okay to have... How do I see the rest of this question? Well, I know that. Hold on. Or is it okay to have the low end in some parts? Honestly, um, so I like to kind of hold back from having the low end be present until the drop, um, unless I'm doing an intro like this. But it is, it is not a bad rule of thumb to say that you shouldn't have the low end come all the way in until like the actual real drop over here. Um, and what I might also even do with, with this right here, like this super low end, I might just turn it down like by five and then have my regular sub be full volume. So it, there is low end, but it's not like when you're there in person, it doesn't blow your hair back, you know? It's just like registering down there. I don't like this hitting off the bat. No man, there's something about this isn't quite right. I know what it is. Or that's something that'll help. Auto filtering this in. Um, I'm stripping away components from the first hit so that when the 808 hits, there will be more juxtaposition, more change, um, which will kind of ease that transition a little bit. See how I do that? Oh my god, donated five dollars, that's so awesome. Turd vibes, also dude get on Discord more so we can chill in the Holy Land voice chat. True, I will. I'm sorry, I've been slacking. I've been writing so much music that I like haven't even been in Discord. Like I literally wake up, work on the, my song from the night before until I pass out. And even past that, I have a fucking ten week old puppy upstairs that requires damn near one hundred percent supervision. Um and Sonia is being nice enough that she's staying upstairs with the puppy so I can do the stream right now because we've honestly just been upstairs. Um, but I appreciate your donation, sir. Um, I feel like social media kind of gives off an air that DJs make more money than they do. Um, and, I mean, obviously I'm fortunate enough to be okay during corona, but, I mean, it's looking like I might not really have show money for over potentially a year. So, I mean, we're all struggling more so, I mean, it's it, moral as we'd really, everyone, no matter who's streaming, me or anyone you're watching, donations are really, really largely appreciated, especially considering that the people watching these streams themselves are also probably out of work. So we understand how hard it is to give money. You might need it yourself. So. Mm. Let's play a game called I Have Not Drank Enough Water Today at all. Yep, everyone drink water. I have not done enough. Water and whirlwind check. I saw Eliminate did his first whirlwind check on a live stream earlier today. Congratulations, Eliminate.
try number three. Remember how long it took the other day? It was horrible. Four tries, bitch. Man, doing Lighthouse with analog kendamas is harder than doing Lighthouse with sweets. But analogs are so well made, too. They just feel really nice. I love sweet and analog, honestly, equally. They both have their strengths and weaknesses. I like analogs a little bit more for balance tricks. And I like the weight of the Tama. The Tama's real heavy. So, like, honestly, I think analogs are better for juggling and stuff. Um, but I like sweets for doing uh, ball tricks like Lunars and uh, Lighthouses. I like using sweets. But juggles are really satisfying with analogs. Although I can't get one right now. What the fuck? Double whirly. I got triple once. Let's get the double whirl double can flip real quick. I don't think that was double. I think the string got caught. There it is. Missed the spike. It's fine. All right. Analog there. Great. Even when you can't get a fucking earth turn. Jesus. Here's another analog kendama I got. This is the Kush mod. Oh my god, thank you for donating $5, Carnivator. Carnival TV. You're a cool person and I like you. Oh! Big up! Natalie Ginsburg for donating 333. That's my mom's lucky number. Woo! Shredding. All right, let's go. <sighs> Donation raid, boys. Oh, my God. You guys are too nice. I don't deserve y'all. I'll do my best to earn how nice everyone is. Your hair tie. Okay. Six 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 is my mom's lucky number. That's awesome. My mom would freak out if I said that. She's Jewish, but she's very superstitious. That might be the move right there, actually. it back until here oh, I was pressing nine I meant to press zero zero deactivates oh my god Ninjendo donated 420 as I pick my nose you know what that means Where's my lighter? Let's turn my microphone up all the way.
I'm definitely going to die in this Dr. Fresh. <coughs> Dab off. For sure. Instead of deactivating these right here because it starts right in the mid middle of the mini note and having to go into the piano roll, I'm just muting it instead because it's faster workflow wise. They both have really ugly harmonics to them that I don't like, so I'm not doing that. I know. another situation to the double transient right here. Yup, look at it, right there. attack here a little bit. If you watched my tutorial last week on um, uh, Serum, this will all be very familiar looking. Um, why do I group, why don't I group the kick and the transient and copy paste as a group? Confused by the question, what do you mean? Um, the kick and the transient themselves are pretty standalone, like group and then copy paste as a group. I mean, I'm kind of confused what you mean. Uh, I don't know why. I just don't. <laughs> I mean, I could. I guess because it's also connected to the claps as well. I mean, yes, to clean up and organize the project file, like, I could go through and do, like... Holy shit, someone donated 710? Yeah! <laughs> Big up, Alec. Thank you, sir. It's very nice of you. Um... I honestly...
honestly am more inclined to group all of the kick and the clap and the ghost all together, but even then I would really just group them once more like this. Like that, intro drums, kick, and clap. Because the kick is only one channel for the intro, like that. Um, I don't know if the CRM tutorial is on my YouTube page. It should be. I should just do one. Um, I should really sh give more attention to YouTube, probably. This is easier, though. I just open this program and press go, and then just start talking. on here with this yeah why is that happening right there there's nothing on there I mean it's it's honestly essentially like a super basic super soul I mean, it's, yeah, it, it is just a regular super solid with chorus and this. Um, and then, but also there's OTT as well. Um, and I'm just very generally queuing. I'm just taking out the loan. That's the other layer, though. I don't like that actually. Bro, hold on. I totally missed two enormous donations. What the fuck? Someone donated 25 bucks paying my ticket now since I work at the venue and got to see you for free. Oh my god, thank you so much. And holy fuck, someone donated 
First off, Mog Wall Stripe, thank you very much, because that's insanely nice. No forks given. This was a while back, but I was able to go to Shambhala and witness you live. I will never forget that. Thank you for blessing us. Oh my god, thank you so much, No Forks Given. That's like, I don't take that lightly. That's a lot. That's a really big donation. Um, and I really, 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 really appreciate that a lot. Uh, damn. Taken back. Thank you. That's so cool. That's so nice. I hate this super saw. Sounds corny and stupid. But I will beefing this up with something. wave tables really flat sounding it's like really kind of just boring this part for a second is like pretty interesting Dumb, 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 dumb. We gotta. What if we brought this back? Oh, yeah, we're bringing that back. Like, we're bringing 88 back. Oh, that's 100% what we're doing, for sure. Absolutely the plan. Are you kidding me? I've been producing, like, seriously for 10 years, but, like, as a fun, just, interest that I've had, probably 15, but I've been producing as, like, like, my life depends on, like, my life depended on it all day, every day, for about, probably seven years. I don't know, it's been a, it's been a ramp up in t intensity. Um, but, like, I would say that... I've been uploading, making and uploading music to SoundCloud for like 10 years. But there's gray area on either side of that. 
because like when I first started uploading music, I wasn't like working every day. I didn't, I didn't consider um, making a living off of it a possibility. I didn't think that'd be even. Re we made jokes about it. We literally made a we like a running meme was a quote unquote. I'm just waiting for Rhythm to pay the bills because like we all assumed that Rhythm would never like make any money. Like no one would want to hear that. It's so weird and like intentionally stupid, you know, um, and like ignorant and goofy that we were just like, yeah, dude, Rhythm will never like we're never gonna make a career off of this. We're just gonna like we're having fun with it because it's we're making friends and it's it's fun to experiment. And then all of a sudden it blew up. So uh, that's why it, it cracks me up when people call Rhythm mainstream. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? I mean, I guess it got popular, yeah, but like, bro, I like remember when the only EDM shows near me were Martin Garrix and like Hardwell, and you're going to sit here and call Rhythm mainstream? Like, what kind of meth are you smoking? Anyway, enough of my soapbox. But it's real, yeah, you raise a good point. Uh, because real rhythm isn't the one that blew up. Quarter note stompy as shit is the shit that blew up. That's why. Yeah. I used to, I mean, like, I understand the elitists that get mad, because, like, I used to also get mad, and then I just got over it. I don't know. Like, it's all fucking art, whether it's real or not, literally doesn't matter at all. There was definitely a moment when I realized that. I was like, wait a minute, this is artwork, and who fucking cares? And I don't, like, no one's allowed to say shit about anything. Examples of real rhythm, like, examples of, like, I don't even like the word real rhythm. Textbook, original, actual rhythm would be, like, Infect, uh, or Akira, or Subfiltronic. Monsters, Savage Society, The Wizards, uh, Akatsuki, all legit rhythm clans. If they're a part of a clan on SoundCloud, it's real rhythm. Six, Sinister Six, that's like the newest clan in my opinion. Uh, Wobbly Gang, Bad Nugs, all gangs of kids running together, collabing. It's like, it's like they're individual groups of friends that have formed collectives. And like, I remember... Like, the first ones around were, like, Monsters and Savage Society and Akatsuki. Um, I was in one called Fridge Gang that, like, no one knew about. And I wasn't even really all the way in it. I, like, tried to be in it. That was, like, Haunta and Invictus. But those are also original real rhythm people that a lot of those elitists who are talking shit for things not being real rhythm weren't even around for that kind of stuff. So sit down. Invictus does still produce. He's really good. He's been putting out stuff recently. Old Rutger. comes out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> I miss Deemed too. I follow him on Instagram and his life is crazy. That kid is really into fashion and he like really knows his shit. I mean he's always been into fashion. But uh, you should follow Deemed on Instagram. It's he's he's like a crazy guy. Yeah, he's like made beats for like really big rappers too. People don't realize that like Deemed has produced for some fucking people. Came in here because I'm bored and Puppy is asleep. Sounds big, nice. Thanks, Sony. I gotta take a gram dab in front of people watching me taking a gram dab in an hour, and I feel like I'm gonna cough my brains out and make a fool of myself, and then everyone's gonna say, we hate Subtronics, and my career's gonna be over, because they don't like the way I smoke weed. Anyway.
definitely one of those times I wished I had Soothe because there's some frequencies in here that are like crazy loud. Whoa, am I lagging? There's some frequencies. Yeah, what the fuck is Psy Rhythm? What? I don't know if Dr. Fresh is going to win. I watched his dab from last night. And I was like, I fucking got this shit, dude. Like, there's no way. I'm going to destroy this guy. Uh, but then I've been watching videos of him all day, and he has been practicing, and I have not been practicing. Um, so, I mean, we'll see. I'm going to take a bunch of small dabs and get, like, in the, in the frame of mind for it, honestly. So let's do that. I already have my gram weighed out and everything. But I mean, yeah, dude, he has been like practicing all day. He's like taking it so seriously and I'm just over here like derpy derp derp. I'm going to die. Ugh. I'm trying to like take big dabs to practice. This is definitely a big dab. Oh no, this is a really big dab. We'll see. If you're already incredibly dabbed out when you're trying to take big dabs, it definitely makes it easier. I think. And we're going to cold start. But remember, I'm not actually smoking anything right now. This is actually just me talking about it. Um, I don't promote marijuana. I'm not smoking marijuana right now. And if anyone asked, I don't smoke on my streams. Because I'm a responsible boy. And this is a kid's show. And y'all should... Listen to your parents and stuff. Where's my carb cap? There it is. And once you're done your homework, if you cold start, uh, you get a gold star. So, the John Mulaney Kids Show. Yeah, we're not actually smoking. This is vapor, first off. So, you know. Yeah, I turned my face cam off because I don't want to get in trouble. Really, 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 really big dab part one. Shit, actually, let me get my camera out. It's practice time. Trying very hard not to cough. <coughs> and I failed. <coughs> it's fine. <coughs> Alright. That was obnoxiously large. I could not tell. Fuck. I don't know if you guys heard how many times I had to reheat that. But that, that took several reheats. <coughs> All right. I never actually... <coughs> I gotta, like, stop vaping entirely today. That'll help.
Let's see. Very hard not to cough. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, there it is. Alright, sorry. I'm taking a while. <laughs> it's gonna be, this dab challenge is gonna be on Instagram. It's in like 45 minutes. That was probably, I would reckon, like a little bit, probably like a point two. Bro, Joey on Instagram is my favorite thing in the whole world. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna die. It's fine. We'll be fine. It's gonna be fine. Worst case scenario, I lose and everyone laughs at me, but whatever. That's still coming in. So aggressively, oh my god. Not that much. how it sounds later on in the sound at all actually and I'm wondering how I want to fix that what happens if I lose I don't have no idea <clears throat> there's nothing really to win or lose it's just to like we're both gonna take really big dabs and probably cough our brains out And then that is where I would start a build. Let's see, I got these stems from Kill Feed. Uh, forget where you sent them. below very epic and cool fucking uh, 
Double drive. Yeah. Oh, Tony. I just took a large dab. And now I'm really high. Um, what was I fucking doing? Right, I was bringing the stems. I honestly truly doubt that they are in key. Where'd they go? Okay, now can I download? How do I download this? I would like to know. Oh, okay. Um, download. Preparing. <sighs> I could, in theory, just change the key this is in. Isn't that the most convoluted way to bring stems into a project file? I figured it out really early on before I knew anyone and knew anything, and now I'm just in the habit of doing it that way. Is there anything going on with any of these? I should clean this up. I was not really expecting on actually starting a song today at all. But here the fuck we are. Uh, we do need an intro for this thing. So let's see. And I believe they're 150. Okay. Command. Oh, geez. Um, I guess it would actually be like here. Ugh. Going to group all of these. Jeez. Hit warp. And then, so, the way I normally do this, and I don't know if it's the most effective way, is go back and, like, make sure all the warp is turned off. Because I'm pretty sure he did them in 150. Make sure that they start at the beginning. Yeah, that's definitely not right because that sounds totally different from what he sent. Um, where was I? Where did he send it? It was on Facebook. Something is definitely not right. I'll crush you. No, I don't think that's going to fit. I don't think I want to work on that right now, especially not on this computer.
Yeah, there's the intro. It, I've been streaming for a long ass time now, so I'm probably gonna stop streaming. Cause I also took a really, 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 really big dab, and I don't feel inspired by this anymore. But I am gonna eat some chips. Yeah, it was three hours and thirty minutes. That's a lot, right? quick how do I where I go I wonder how this sounds the thing I actually care about that I was working on Uh, that's what I'm probably going to work on but it's on my MacBook and this is on my PC um, big up Carnival TV for donating 5 bucks big up that's awesome donation everyone who donated big ups guys um, thank you Cubs for following I know I don't shout out followers but I'm super stoned I'm probably about to die on Instagram live but whatever alright thank you guys for coming uh, this Thursday will be feedback stream and then, thank you, Effort. Um, and then, uh, fucking, oh, big up Zingle Base, Zingles888. Uh, and then, yeah, Saturday, I'm gonna play video games. And then, <coughs> I'm putting sets together. I have some live stream stuff coming up. There will be live streams on this channel soon, I promise. Like, sets. I will be playing sets soon. Um, but, I'm gonna be playing uh, Enter the Gungeon on Saturday. But anyway, I love you guys. Thank you for coming. Uh, big ups. Have an awesome night. Thank you. I pressed the wrong button. Uh, Oops. Uh, Excuse me. All right.